Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let's Go. In this video, we are going to learn how to attach the video to our Cucumber Reporter as well as we are going to integrate the GitHub Actions. And the result is going to be really mind blowing, I can say, because this is really cool. Okay, so for example, I just committed my code and I have uh, pushed to the main branch. Then I have the GitHub Actions integration. So if I go to my Actions section and if I go to the last commit message, you can see like I got my test here and then also I got my artifact. So report is the artifact name. So if I go and click on this, you can see like it's going to download this particular report as a zip format. It is downloaded in my uh, desktop. Yeah, here it is. So if I go and extract this, you can see that I got a folder called report. Within that, I have my logs. So you can see I ran just a scenario. You can see my logs and then I have my reports. Then I have my screenshot and also I have my video file okay and this is the cucumber default report so here you can see like we have executed in the linux machine um, from the github actions we are using the node version of this cucumber version and few other details so if you go to the scenario here you can see like we are passing a wrong credential so of course it is expected to fail once the scenario gets failed i can see my attached image like the failure reason like here i can see like username or password is incorrect so of course i got that particular screenshot along with that i also got my video so if you go and see here i can see my video so it's going to basically enter the username as autony11 so if you you can rewind and you can check it's really fast yeah so here you can see like autony11 which is wrong intentionally i failed this test case because once it is failed i can see my video as well as screenshot right so that's it it's very cool right but of course we are not using that particular report rather we are using the new cucumber this report right so here you can see like we have the black and white theme and we have the stats and if i go to the particular scenario and here you can see like we got the error message like why it got failed and then we got the screenshot and then we also got the attachment which is in the format of video here the video is really in small but i guess uh, it will work okay maybe you can just um no here also it's very small maybe i can open this in a new tab i guess yeah there i can see it in a uh, large screen okay so that's it very good right let's see how to do this and it's going to be very easy so already i have all the codes i'm just going to show you okay so first thing first when we create our playwright project we know that it will it has a option called uh, github actions right so if you go and give like install playwright there we have this add github actions right so we already we have that so i'm going to reuse the same right so if you go to our first video there itself you can see this playwright.yaml file is there right so within this we have to change only one thing like here i'm going to say like path is going to be like test dash result so now all our files related to the reports we are going to store within this particular folder and i'm going to give that particular folder in this particular place in your yaml file it might be like 30 but i have changed this to 2 that means like only for two days this result will be there after that it will be auto deleted okay and apart from that the comments are very same you can leave this as it is as existing only thing i have changed changed here is like run cucumber test and i have given like npm test that's it that's it okay now how we are getting all the things in the report in the sense like in previous video also we discussed about the logs and we have uh, given our logs within the result the only thing we changed here is the report folder okay so what i did is like if i go to my report ps file you can see right we are giving the report path that is the output path as test result dash output i mean slash reports test result slash report slash okay why we have done this in the sense like whenever we execute the result i mean the report we know that we are going to get two folders additionally one is the features and another one is the asset so we want to get this folder as well so that we will um, get our report now if i give this in the root of the project it will be like here 
like within the root there will be uh, feature files feature folders as well as the asset folder so if i give in the github actions like root of the project then the of course it will download all other files as well which is not necessary so i'm going to in show interest on this particular folder which is this test result and within that we have this now how do i generate video it's very simple if you have watched my playwright tutorial series you already know but yeah i will just show you so within the hooks what we are doing here is uh, when we create a new context we are just saying like we want to record the video and the directory is going to be result test dash result slash video okay that's it this is the one line another change is going to be in your after block where we are saying like um await this dot attach and video path we are going to get the video path based on the fixture dot page dot video dot path so when we record the video it will just record and save and it will give us path we can get the path using this particular function and based on this path we can just do the attach okay now here what we are checking is basically we are checking um if the status is fail okay and if the status is pass of course this guys will be empty so here attach doesn't make sense so what i'll do i'll just wrap this here again and i'm going to use the same okay why i'm doing this like two if block if blocks uh, i can move this within here itself right but the problem here is like when we get the video the video storing will take few seconds but before that if you close your fixture then the attach is not working so that is the reason i'm waiting for my page dot close and context dot close that means of course the video is generated successfully without any issue once that is done then i'm doing the attach okay that is the only reason i have done this one so if you compare this with your previous video you might know like uh, previously we have this image here but now we have the image as well as the video within another if block once we close the page and the context okay so that is the only change other than that one more change here is like fixture dot logger dot close this is sometimes giving me error um, i'm not sure about it so i just comment it out and i check the documentation and close is not uh, mandatory so i just comment it out and i'm going to remove this now so yeah that's it we are pretty much done with our framework and this is really good i guess with the report whatever we have done is the best you can find in any youtube videos or maybe the udemy courses as well i can say okay so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned how to get the reporters and everything okay uh, this is just a very simple so i didn't give you like full explanation uh, just give you a quick recap so in the before hook we are using the context to record the video and in the after hook we are just saving the video path and we are attaching to our report now to avoid any kind of sync issue we are using this if statement after the close and the context so if there is only failure we want to attach if there is a pass we don't want to attach and here also you can see another function like fs read file sync video path that means it will read the file path from the root okay and we are using this fs extra that we used in our uh, init folder as well so if you i mean init file as well so here also and before each and every run it will just empty directory that means of course we'll get fresh screenshot fresh videos as well okay and and one more changes is is this one so test result slash reports okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Ta -da, bye bye take care